If you're a climate protester and you were just thrown out of the New York auto show or you've been trying to sabotage Tesla in Germany, then you know what? Just unsubscribe to this channel because honestly, you're an absolute muppet. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Now, I'm sure none of you uh, were involved in these latest idiotic protests in New York. At the New York auto show, a bunch of absolute retards were thrown out of now i'm sorry if you are retarded because i genuinely do feel for people who are so I, I shouldn't use that word i should just say absolute muppets were thrown out of the new york auto show after they oiled a ford f-150 lightning they said evs don't solve the problem with cars so we all should be walking everywhere or riding horses that poo everywhere and we everywhere which is absolutely shocking to be honest according to these um these car-hating climate protesters. Anyway, hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. So if I see 10 less subscribers today than yesterday, well, I'll know who they were. Yeah, anyway, who cares, right? Climate activists have protested against the New York Auto Show, claiming that EVs don't actually address climate change and they're, they're just all around bad. Members of the climate activism group called Extinction Rebellion, sounds very dramatic, were forcibly removed from the 2024 New York International Auto Show this weekend. By the way, no connection to these idiots in Germany who are trying to sabotage Tesla's factory. After they poured what appears to be oil on electric cars there, as well as on the showroom floor, while shouting that there are no EVs on a dead planet. I don't get the connection with oil. I mean, does anyone understand that part? I don't understand it. The, the only reason EVs need oil, they have a little closed, clo couple of closed off um, parts in an EV which have oil in them. But in a Tesla EV, for example, you never change it ever. So it's a couple of liters in there. Uh, I think it's even less than a couple of liters. I think it might be less than one liter and you never change it. It's not really uh, something you'd claim is anything much about oil really. The protesters actually stepped in front of an all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning modified to tackle off-road conditions. And the pickup truck had just been rolled out for people to have a look at. Um, the group said it wasn't protesting automotive enthusiasts, but the EV industry. It's completely against the EV industry. And um, when Vladimir Putin actually took this group out and he held a gun to their head and, you know, um, he tortured them and did all this waterboarded them and all that stuff, they admitted that actually they were employed by Legacy Auto. And big oil. Now, I just made all that up, of course. I don't know who they're employed by, but honestly, if you're protesting EVs, if you're trying to burn down Tesla's factory, if you're trying to burn down Tesla's EVs, who do you think these people are employed by? I mean, who's who's really behind all of this? Really? Come on. Is it really climate lobbyists? I don't think so. We are not protesting car lovers. We're protesting car dependence, said Mark Graham, an Extinction Rebellion activist. Who participated in the action and he went on to say that evs are the problem not the solution the vast majority of auto-based emissions during both production and use are caused not by people who want to drive but by those who have no choice but to drive your point is the group claims that evs don't address the fundamental problems of the transportation industry and replace one wasteful means of transportation with another it's worth pointing out though that ev battery packs can be recycled ad infinitum as in forever. You can just recycle uh, EV batteries forever. So maybe someone should show them my video where I talked about there's going to be a closed loop. Estimates are saying 2055 is when there'll no longer be any need to mine any more lithium or nickel or cobalt or, or anything because battery packs, which is obviously the main uh, mined part in an EV, um, will all be recycled and we'll have enough in the ecosystem that we won't need to mine it, mine for it any longer. You can never say that about big oil, about fossil fuels, about gasoline, or about diesel. Extinction Rebellion claims that manufacturing EVs requires an enormous amount of natural resources like steel, the production of which is responsible for 11% of global CO2 emissions. But the thing is, if steel is manufactured using renewable energy, which is the plan, that's the whole point. That's what Tesla wants to do. That's what that's what China is doing. You think about it, right? 50% of China's economic growth last year, 50% came from renewable energy, installations, renewable energy. So it's part of China's agenda as well as part of America's Australia, we're all going 
we're all moving very, very quickly towards using renewable energy as our primary source of energy. It's already happened in many countries worldwide. So the steel industry will be decarbonized within the next 10 years. And I think these guys are aware of what's actually really going on. Some automakers are investing in green steel. And the group says that EVs are more carbon intensive to produce than traditional vehicles. So in other words, they are basically saying that they are um, adherence to traditional cars or internal combustion. They said this, electric vehicles don't solve the problem with cars. Wastefully large infrastructure, needlessly complex and resource intensive construction and energy inefficiency, even in the case of electric cars now, energy efficiency in EVs is actually over 90%. So they're actually very, very efficient. But they went on to say this, electric vehicles are a popular investment because they don't disrupt the status quo. So I'm not really sure what they're proposing we should do. No one knows. They didn't actually have a solution. As a result, though, the group wants discussions about environmental improvement to include smaller, greener vehicles. They demand we all drive small vehicles and public transportation. So they want us all on buses. I don't understand that. That's probably a good idea. Actually, no, even better than that would be if we rode electric bicycles. That's my solution. I think more of us should do that. Not everyone, but more of us should do that. CBS reports that the same group protested a performance of the Enrique Ibsen play, An Enemy of the People, on Broadway this month. The play focuses on a man who exposes an unpalatable truth publicly and is punished for it. Maybe they're not funded by Big Oil or my Legacy Auto. I think they are, but maybe they're not. Maybe they're just people who, um, I don't know, just feel like they want to get angry. Um, and EVs, uh, they're one of their targets. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.